Hi, welcome to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, today we're going to talk about how to mark uh, incoming traffic with um, uh, a particular 802.1p class of service priority um, using an ACL. So um, this is probably the easiest way. I mean, obviously you can have your end devices mark the traffic, um, but this is going to um, or can mark very specific types of traffic with an extended ACL. So through that extended ACL, we can mark based on source address, on destination address, on you know, on um, on protocol, etc. So we can we can mark that address on the fly as it passes through and be pretty granular. So different types of traffic, you could say, you know, TCP port 80 traffic gets marked with a priority of five, and you know, FTP traffic gets it gets marked with a priority of four, etc., on the fly as it passes through the box. So, uh, class of service is turned on by default on the Brocade ICX, so you don't need to turn on layer two honoring uh, or layer two class of service, it's already on. So, what we need to do is we need to create an ACL, um, and so it's going to be an extended ACL. So, uh, access list 101 maybe. Um, and then we'll permit, uh, I don't know, um, let's do a TCP. So the permit means this is what we care about, right? Permit TCP from any source to any destination equals 80, right? And then at this point, we have some options. So we can do uh, 802.1p priority mar uh, marking. We can also do matching there. Um, and we can do uh, um, 802.1p and internal marking. So if you don't do the internal marking, it'll just go to the whatever the default priority is for that 802.1p priority. So it'll just use the default. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to do an 802.1p dash priority <clears throat> marking. And then we're going to mark it with a priority. So 0 to 7 is the 802.1p bits, right? So we could say this is a, a priority of 5. Okay. Hit enter. So once we apply this, any uh, port 80 or HTTP traffic uh, is going to get marked with a priority of 5. And uh, by default, it's going to get put into Q5. Um, so normally, you wouldn't be marking your 802 your HTTP traffic with a priority of five that's a that's an extremely high priority um, probably more like a uh, you know a one or a two something ab above best effort but not critical priority um, but maybe you are who knows um, then say we'll do access list 101 permit uh, TCP any any equals uh, say port 21 we'll do FTP traffic and do the same thing. So, <clears throat> um, and we'll set it to a lower priority. So we'll give it a priority of three, right? So then, <clears throat> this is a regular access list, right? So it still has the the implicit deny at the end. So permit. IP any any goes at the end right for anything that we don't care about now we could have done we could have told it to mark you know everything with a with a priority of one or whatever the case right you could have done that um, but uh, nonetheless and then to apply it we're just going to go to the interface and apply that access list like or access group like we always would right so interface e one slash two slash two IP access dash group 101 um, in or out. Now, normally uh, for priority marking, you're going to mark it as it comes into the switch, but you could do out as well. Um, for MAC filters, um, those are in only, but yeah, for, for access groups, we can do in or out. Um, so that's it. So so now anything coming in port 1 slash 2 slash 2 is going to get marked um Oh, well, any any HTTP traffic is going to get marked with a priority of five. Any uh, FTP traffic is going to get marked with a priority of three, and then um, other traffic is going to use their uh, their existing marks or get put into uh, zero or the best effort queue. Um, 
and so that's it uh, a very cool way and very specific way that you can you know mark your traffic um, or even match on the traffic if that's what you want to do so we could have done the 802.1p priority match and and allow the access list to match only on a certain type of traffic um, but anyway so that's it for that um, and there will be another video on how to uh, how to do diff serve uh, or DSCP priority marking. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks.